Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to hook a microphone into a garden hose. This is a follow-up video of the $10 garden hose, and it's a great way to have no leakage of sound, you don't have to mess with tape, and you also get a nice full sound versus using tape that closes off those vents of the mic. Here's what it sounds like with using tape, and here's what it sounds like with using our microphone case that we're gonna to build today. Okay, so this episode is kind of a shout out to Adam Rainstopper. Uh, the guy literally posts on every single one of my videos. I really appreciate your support. And because of his suggestion on the $10 garden hose reverb, I started looking, I said, you know, he's right. Covering up the vents might be coloring up the sound a lot. So I went and I looked and I found a fellow YouTube called Electric, Electric? What the heck is this? So I went and found a fellow YouTuber called Electric Owl Works, and he's got a channel there, got a really cool video about how he made a casing out of some PVC pipe couplings and hooked it in. So he walked me through a little bit about how he built his, and then I went looking for myself. Now, the key here is not blocking those back vents. The mic can still remain a cardioid polar pattern. And this way we have a little bit more familiar sound, and I think better low end, a little bit better highs too. Okay, so here's the end goal today. In one end we have the microphone, the other end we have the garden hose. You can get all these parts at your local reverb supply store. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the parts that you need to make one of these things. Now this is a repair coupling. It's one and a half inch repair coupling. All we need is this hole here to put the mic in, this hole here to go out to our garden hose. Now the idea is that this gives us some sort of protective chamber for the microphone so we don't have to close off the back vents of the mic thus turning it into an omnidirectional mic, thus changing the sound. One and a half inch repair coupling goes into one of these. This is a three fourths inch adapter, or whatever they call this. So this is where it gets kind of weird because it doesn't exactly fit in here. Not bad. Then from here we use the three fourths in MHT times three fourths in FIP adapter. This thing will make sure that it's a nice airtight seal from the microphone into the garden hose. So this goes right on here like this. Now we're pretty much ready. The only other step is to seal the back of it where the microphone actually goes in. Insulation foam here, and we really only need a couple inches. And then the trick to this is to put it on backwards, like that and then it goes in the casing. And there you go. So now we have a protective casing around the microphone. There's no uh, sound leaking in. And now we can hook up the garden hose. There we go, the deluxe garden hose reverb. So yeah, I really dig this thing. Um, you know, it's quicker to set up. You don't have to mess with tape. You can reuse your microphone. You can change out different mics. Uh, it's just a little bit more flexible in how you can use it. And of course the sound, you know, it just, it's one more variation on this exact same effect. If you want more mids, then use the tape method. Just add a bunch of tape. Of course, you're gonna go through about a third of the roll, but that'll get you a little bit more mids, maybe a little bit better for that bottom sound perhaps. Add some fast compression with a fast release, and there you go. Okay, so I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I'll be having a new video coming out with all your suggestions. I'll be just kind of going through the list of where to put the hose, try this, try that. And this is a part of it. This was really the first step in getting to uh, refine this process, seek out other sounds using a garden hose. So I'll be hanging out in the comments below, and a new video about a garden hose reaver will be coming out soon.